Hi guys, Mr Gillen here with a quick video following up from the equations video and during this we are going to discuss inequalities. So what are inequalities? Well, they're a type of equation. They follow the same rules as equations. Um, letters left, numbers right, opposite side, opposite operation, equal sign stays in the same place. However, instead of an equal sign, we change the symbols. There's four different symbols that we could use, and they are shown here. So first one that we've got is the greater than sign. Next one is the less than sign. Then we've got greater than or equal to. And finally, less than or equal to. The actual process of solving inequalities isn't any different. One key point that you have to remember though is when multiplying or dividing by a negative number, the direction of the sign switches around. So if you're working with a greater than sign and you divide by a negative number, it switches to a less than sign and vice versa. If you are working with a greater than or equal to a sign and you divide by a negative number or multiply, then it switches to a less than or equal to sign. So let's look at two quick examples. Um, they're fairly straightforward ones because we've covered in the previous video the, the way to deal with brackets and fractions and equations. And those techniques and those processes, they don't change for inequalities. So what we're going to really concentrate on here is when a sign would switch around. So let's look at the first example. We've got 8 plus 3x is greater than 2. So again, I'm thinking my three, let, my three rules, letters left, numbers right. This 8 is in the wrong place. So I'm going to have to bring it over to the other side. So I've got 3x is greater than, the 2 hasn't moved, the 8's moved over, so it's going from being positive 8, opposite side, opposite operation, so that becomes subtract 8. So I've got 3x is greater than negative 6. I want to have the x on its own, so the next thing I need to get rid of is the 3 that's stuck to it, so I've got to take that over, opposite side, opposite operation. So I'm going to divide by 3. I'm dividing by a positive number. I've divided by positive 3. So my sign doesn't change. And then I say negative 6 divided by 3 is going to give me negative 2. So instead of x being equal to a number, what the inequality is telling us is x is any number that is greater than negative 2. If we look at the second example, we've got 8 subtract 3x is greater than 2. So again, I'm going through the same process. The 8's on the wrong side. So it needs to come over here. So I've got negative 3x is greater than 2. The 8's came over, so it's going to be subtract 8. So I've got negative 3x is greater than negative 6. At this point, I want to get the x on its own. It's multiplying by negative 3 just now, so the opposite of multiplying by negative 3 is dividing by negative 3. So instantly, a wee trigger in my head goes, I'm dividing by negative 3, so my sign is going to turn over. It's going to become less than, so it's negative 6 over negative 3. So x is any number that's less than 
negative 6 over negative 3. Two negatives make a positive, so it's 2. So x for the second example is any number that is less than 2. Okay, that's all from me just now. As always, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. This is Mr Gillen signing off. Speak to you all soon.